today i am talking about the hepatic organ liver organ in fact this is something is extraordinary information extraordinary physiological aspects comparatively to the other internal organs <coughs> when normally i teach about the cardiac system pulmonary system or the pleural organ right or related to the pericardium of course is the spinal cord or the triple warmer all or something is is giving the novel information in order to treat for the numerous diseases <coughs> when i talk about when i talk about the liver meridian that particular time certainly this is based on the perspective of the traditional chinese medicine says that the origin to cause the disease is from the hepatic organ you say that the theory says the disease origins or whenever begins that also connected to the liver organ since the liver having the major physiological aspect thousands of enzymes are released in a chemical factory in our body and it enhancing the metabolism catabolism anabolism both to be taken place by the hepatic organ so thereby so this is biggest gland or the biggest organ in our body is skin whereas in biggest internal organ in our body to be known as a hepatic organ which weights around <coughs> 1 to 1.5 kg nearly 1200 to the 1.5 kg weight so it is existing if we wanted to know <coughs> there is a blood bank in our body so blood bank externally it is existing from the different locations across the globe <coughs> for emergency to provide the blood to the human system as a administration whereas in here but blood bank is existing within our body system itself that there are the two organs i wanted to tell you those organs to be known as a, one is the hepatic organ the other one is is a spleen organ <coughs> whereas in we understand why i said as a blood bank but in fact this is maximum level of the blood is stored in the two organs one also in the liver the maximum nearly 2 liters of the blood is stored in our body system whenever we understand the blood is nourishing to our body that means when i am talking i am active i am conscious i am sitting i am speaking lecturing you are listening with the focus concentration visualization then you are both the heart and then both the livers are functioning precisely that indicating that all the blood is which is existing in the liver that is scattered to the entire system of the body to regulate our system whereas in when we go and take the nap or take the you know we go for the bed in the night time that time whatever the blood is accumulated in the collaterals and also the jinglo channel system that again moves to the back to the liver system where it is stores in the liver system right so thereby the liver having the storage capacity and the spleen is controlling capacity and also minimum amount of the blood one cup of the blood also stored in the spleen that's the reason spleen and then liver also to be known as a blood bank in our body perhaps we may ask you one question write down the blood bank in our organs as a one more question or objective types if you write down the liver spleen lungs heart then you need to write down any four is the objective types in that your answer should be is the right answer is the liver and then second answer is the spleen but however you need to mention only the liver is important role right so that's the reason so the wind the prop <coughs> the properties of the hepatic organ to be known as a wind is the nature of the energy the wind is the reason to cause the numerous diseases according to the tcm whereas in the wind also belongs to the plural organ lungs 
we understand that also both are connected to the each other because the pulmonary system is controlling to the hepatic organ according to the five elements theory so therefore anything related to the lungs is the vayu vayu related problem are connecting by using the two elements or the two organs based on the ayurveda system of medicine also says the same the vayu related to the metal or air and then wind so together is connected the wood also connected here so therefore the liver is essential for the movement in our body any movement is obstructed any mobilization is not happening in our body the flexion and extension is not happening precisely then you understand it is connected to the hepatic organ of course the wind which is not moving precisely at the same time you understand the the air the oxygen is not supplying precisely to that particular atom tissue organs so on right